All right. Yes. Okay. Let's do a fly. All right. Let's tie something up. Let's tie up uh, a nymph. I've been tying these nymphs all day, so let's go. Let's get our hook. Figure out what bead we're going to use. What bead am I going to use? Let's use one of these dark gray tungsten beads. <clears throat> Hello, this is Danny with um, Alaskan Rainbow Junkie. If you like this video, you can check out my content. Um, I live in Alaska. I love to fish and I love to tie up flies. So, go check me out. All right, let's get to it. All right, we need some lead. Where is my lead? What do you do when you're uh, <clears throat> at home and not at work because you're sick? You stay home and tie up flies. Yep. And you show everybody out there in the world what they're missing out on. You know, uh, in the last couple of years, I've been tying up my own flies. Um, actually on and off for like six or seven years. And I love it. Um, I can't get enough of it. So, there's something about it. I mean, I used to be really into buying my own flies and choosing, um, choosing the, the pattern that I caught the fish on. I used to love that and be all about it. And now, I've grown, I've changed to the point where I don't want to fish it unless I made it. So that's where I'm at. So I like it. So, all right, let's clip that off. I'm using this uh, pink UV thread because you know what? <clears throat> it makes a really good hot spot. All right, now we need to put the wire on. Let's put the wire on real quick. So like I said, uh, this is not going to be a beginner's video. I'm just tying this up and showing y'all how it goes, how I do it. So, um, if it gets a lot of likes and if people are asking, you know, for a how-to video, I'll definitely put one out. But I am just showing friends and family how I do this. I'm going to post this on my Facebook, obviously, and I'll for sure post it on my YouTube channel. So yeah, all right, now we got it going. Let's do this. Let's lay some dubbing, all right. So I want like a darker fly, I want like a dark, darker nymph. Um, so I'm using this, this is, um, it's like a black and blue and red uh, mixture of this ice dubbing. It's made by Hairline, Hairline Dubbing. And I'm using a size six egg and caddis hook. So let's do it. Spin this on here. So, how's everybody doing today? It's 120 here in Alaska. Spring is sprung finally, so that's good. If, you, uh, if you're tuning in, if you're going to watch this, leave me a comment, you know, let me know where you're from. <clears throat> I'm not very popular. I'm not trying to get YouTube famous. Uh, I just want to show people the Alaskan experience, you know, show people some, you know, things I'd love to do and hopefully uh, some people pick up on it and Maybe they'll be encouraged to get out more and, or come to Alaska one of these days, you know? You never know. I love it. I love Alaska. So, definitely love it. Love fishing. Love it all. Look at that. God, that's beautiful. I think I'm going to stop there. So, what I do is I just kind of twist it and then pull it. And if it gets thinner, just throw another wrap on there until it gets a Nice, good, built-up head right there. You just kind of pull it off. 
you lose it a little bit, and then you just wrap, wrap right over it. And zip. Yeah, all that stuff that's looking buggy, you know? The fish love that, so. I'm not gonna build this head up too big right now because I still have to wrap my wire. So that's pretty much it. Um, now if you really want the rib effect, which I do, you wrap the wire. So I'm wrapping this way. We're gonna wrap the opposite way. So we're wrapping this way. I'm gonna wrap this way. So it uh, it just helps a little bit. Helps with the way. Oh, let's see. No, I'm going the wrong way. What am I doing here? Yeah, I need to be going this way. <laughs> it's all backwards. Backwards on video. I switched to a thicker wire. So these ribs are more prominent. <clears throat> and you don't have to push down too hard when you're twisting these on here. Um, they're just there to kind of sort of make a hot spot. Uh, it, it creates um, it makes it look like a larva pattern. Makes it look we call them ribs but you know that it shows the fish that you know it, it kind of comes off as like a like a larva, um, almost like a scud, but I like it. The fish seem to like it, so. All right, once you get a couple wraps over it, just cut it off. Use old scissors, don't mess up your new scissors. I use the ones that came in the cheap fly tying kit, so. <clears throat> when you clip it off, take your fingernail and kind of just Poke that thing back down in there. I'm using thicker wire. I switched up to a thicker wire because the other wire I was using was just, I don't know, it, it would break so easy and the, I'd catch a few fish on it and the trout were already tearing it up. So, all right, last little step. I'm gonna add a couple little pieces of um, some marabou just to give it some body. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I don't do the dubbing loop. I don't, I just take it and I just spin it right on here. It's going to look how it's going to look. And I kind of comb everything back. I'll get your fingers wet a little bit. I want it to look super buggy. And if you don't like some of the if you get too much or if you don't like some of it, you can you can just grab them and pull them right out. You know. It doesn't have to be perfect. If I'm tying flies and catching fish, it definitely doesn't have to be perfect. I've learned that. I've proven that to myself time and time again. See this right here? I don't know if you can see with the back of my got this backdrop was just my shirt. But if you just don't like this piece, just pluck it out. You know, if it seems too long, but I like it. Build up a nice thread base. This is my hot spot. This is the reason why I'm doing this fluorescent pink because it's creating that hot spot. The fish are gonna see it and the fish love pink. So who doesn't love pink? Everybody loves pink. All right, that's it. We're gonna put a whip finish on it and I got feathers on my face. We're gonna um, put some, some, uh, some Loon glue, this is uh, UV resin glue. It's pretty good stuff, so let's do this. Let's put three, four, five, uh, one more. Let's call her good. Oh, hear that, that's good. Give her a couple tugs. Tug is the drug, oh my God, tug is the drug. I'm so stupid. No, that's not stupid. It's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Lick it. Look at it. Play with it. Um, all right. That's it. I'm not going to show you how to put the glue on. 
So if you want to know how to put the glue on, leave me a comment, um, like the video and subscribe, um, and I can put out a how-to. All right, this is Alaskan Rainbow Junkie just showing you guys how to make a beautiful little fly, little nymph pattern, the hot spot. All right.